have a, a quick little talk with you guys, um, just kind of get a feel for, you know, where you guys are at um, in terms of, you know, what your aspirations are, and just kind of get a feel for, you know, where you're at with the golf game in terms of maybe setting some goals, and, you know, I just want to let you guys know you guys have done an excellent job, and, um, you know, to really get you to where you want to be, I would really like to be a part of that, so, um, Cody, what's what's maybe one of your goals in the next maybe you know five to ten years in golf you know as you enter into high school and college um, um, my goals are I want to be able to get a scholarship to um, college nice maybe Florida State and wow. um, possibly get in the PGA Tour that's, that's, that's my life goal get a PGA Tour that's fantastic so, I, 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 I hope so. If I just keep on practicing and working hard, then I can do it. Absolutely, absolutely. You can you can do anything that you put your mind to. There's no question about it. How about you, Tino? Anything is cool. I want to get a scholarship. I wanted, if anything, I want to do mechanical engineering in college. But I also want to get on the PGA tour. Very nice. So you two are extremely bright young men. Um, any goals that you guys set for yourself, I guarantee you, you are completely capable of accomplishing them. Um, one thing I really like about what you guys have said, you've been very specific with your goals. Um, I like how, um, you know, Tino, you said, you know, you want to be a mechanical engineer in college. Cody, you picked out, uh, you know, you want to go to Florida State. So these are very specific things that you guys are thinking about. And I think that, you know, with that kind of thought process, I think there's, there's nothing that's going to be able to stop you guys. Um, how about, uh, you guys want to tell me about maybe how things have gone just in maybe in your last few tournaments and um, kind of what you're working on right now, your, your current yeah, goals, because um, we kind of talked about some of your future goals. I've been working on, um, I've been trying to work on my ball striking for my irons yep. and good. accuracy because I, through the last couple of tournaments, um, I've been hitting good, it's just it's so far away, so yeah, I, I'm just not there in the distance part, but I know if I just keep on trying to keep my ball striking up and keep on accuracy and consistency, when the distance does come, I'll be able to crush it. Absolutely. You're going to be dominating yeah. golf courses in no time, I can tell you that. Yeah. And and just remember, you know, golf, the idea of golf is, you know, really putting the ball in the hole, yeah. right? That's the name of the it game. It doesn't matter how you do it. So just it doesn't matter how you hole. do it. And trust me, in no time you're going to be reaching some par fives and two, and you're going to be getting right up next to the greens and the par fours. It's going to be no problem. So you just keep working at your ball striking yeah. and you're chipping and putting. How are you doing? Um, I'm really trying to neutralize my grip because my nice. grip is set up to a draw and in the last couple of tournaments my misses has been a hook. Wow, that's that's pretty specific. I, you know, you guys really, I think, are really in tune with, you know, where you're at currently and with where you guys are going. How specific, you know, the feedback I get from you guys is, is really key. So don't, don't stop that. Continue to be really in tune with where you're at right now what you're working on now and, and where you see yourself and always try to continue to, to make sure that you're staying on that path. You guys are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Hey, I just want to say thanks. It's been yep. a really great pleasure working with you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Okay, so guys, come on in just a little closer. Okay, everybody did a great job today. I just want to give you guys all a little round of applause and, and a pat on the back. I appreciate your hard work today. I know it's hot out here. You guys are working hard. Um, I hope you're learning stuff. You feel like you're learning? Yes. Okay, we're going to do a little recap here. So I hope everybody, if you're thirsty, grab a Gatorade. Uh, I've got some granola bars in there if you want to grab a granola bar. Um, basically, what we've done is everybody has gotten a yardstick now. Okay, and what the yardstick's there for is to help get you a little consistency in your setup. Okay, so you'll see where you're setting your feet up each and every time. You can, you can modify this as you improve as a player. You're always changing. We're always modifying things and always trying to get a little bit better. But to have consistency is one of the big keys so you understand what you're changing. Okay, so you know where your feet are setting up. You know where your ball position is setting up. Okay, we know when we take it back to the five on a relatively flat putt with a relatively consistent tempo, it's going to be somewhere in that five foot putt if we hit the center of the putter face, right, on our putting green here. Now, that's going to vary based on the time of year, uphill, downhill, grain could, could also vary. And, you know, as you grow as a player, it, 